Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were exploring and recruiting people. Uh, we also finally made it back to our island, and we got uh, preparations for construction underway. And our ship has now been upgraded, so we can travel a lot easier around the map. Boy, I wish <laughs> I remembered we could do that now. So, you can see that our ship is now blue. We've repainted it in a much nicer Blue Rogues paint scheme, which I think is pretty freaking sweet. Anywho, now we've got some options. We can come up and around here. There's actually, uh, I think, a few discoveries and whatnot that we can start to get now. Let's have a little look. Ooh, but first, glorious, glorious combat. Now, there's no point in... Qu oh, yeah, these guys are immune to fire. We remember that much. There's no point just yet in trying to get uh, to the Bistro, because I think we need 30 discoveries. And if memory serves, we're pretty close. We just need one or two. But there is a new crew member that we can potentially get there. But we need 30 discoveries. Which is a little bit savage, but we're almost there. There we go. Okay, cool. Right. Nice amount of money. Now, we actually need to get, like, a million money. Um, which, obviously, is not the easiest thing to do. But, yeah, we need to get a million gold for one of the uh, swashbuckling ratings which is not that easy as I'm sure you can imagine so here we are we're actually in the frozen north which is pretty freaking sweet but there is a discovery somewhere around here Oh, new enemies. Let's go for some Cutlass Fury on this. Now, there's also some uh, hidden bosses that we can go and fight now. Although, we're not going to go do them yet because there's still a crew member that we need to get. Uh, they actually give you extra items if you have a certain crew member that we can't get yet. So, we're going to wait. We might have to go and do that horrible progress thing. Instead of all this side stuff. Now you can see these enemies are a little bit tougher. Which is nice. So, in theory, we should be able to get a decent amount of levels and experience from these guys. Let's have a look. Okay, not bad. 500 experience. Yeah, we'll take that now. There should... Somewhere... I hope be a discovery. Mm. I like the way our symbol on the map has changed as well. My keyboard apparently is falling over. Come on. Might actually have gone past it. Maybe. Right, we've got another looper. It's not actually a looper. It's a uh, you looper but it's exactly the same annoying to fight and it ran away because it's a dick i hope they stop running away because we need levels wow enrique he really needs to level up now have we think we've gone past it Yeah, it looks like we've gone past it, sadly. Come on, where are you? I know you're down here somewhere. I'm sure it's on like an ice shelf or something. Ooh. Sure the compass started spinning then. Did it? Ah, one second, guys. So, here we go. You have found the stone city. 
the ruins of a settlement built into a solid rock wall but uh, with countless passageways connecting the dwellings the homes appear to have been abandoned hastily but no evidence has been found that explains exactly what happened here interesting so there it is right here on the map right in the center basically uh, now we've got another um, find discovery down here I'm not sure if I can well what I might do I might pause and see if I can go find this now. I'm not sure if we can get it now or whether we need to upgrade our engines. So what we're going to do, we're going to have another pause here, guys. And uh, I'll catch you in a second. Because it is a fair way away. Also, uh, Enrique learnt another spell. And Vase has leveled to level 32. And now that we can travel through the sky rifts, we can go into this little sky rift here, and this will house another discovery. You have found the ship graveyard. This North Daniel Strait route was once feared as home of a monster that ate ships, but in reality, it's just an area where currents are so strong that previous generations of ships lack the power and hull strength to make it through. That's not a problem for the Delphinus anymore, or for the new. Valiant ships. I believe they've all been upgraded and overhauled now, which is bad. Anyway, our next port of call on the old uh, discoveries is back up here. Uh, Fina has leveled up as well. She's now level 32. Um, so, I'll meet you guys when we get up there. Right, so we're now back in unexplored territory. So, we have another discovery just here. Although, you know, enemies too what have we got uh, just one of these things rear oh, okay there's two thought there was literally just one there for a second I was going to complain and you guys would have had to listen to me moan about it god damn it <laughs> they both ran away so Enrique has leveled up to level 26 uh, and we've actually been collecting gold like crazy See how much gold we have now. Yeah, we're back up to 90,000. It's insane. Anyway, you have found the Philosophy Stone. Yeah, not the Philosopher's Stone. It's the Philosophy Stone. Which is kind of random, if you ask me. But hey, I don't make the rules. Okay. Though my body may age and the sun may set, the soul of a sailor still burns inside me. As long as I can dream, I shall travel the skies. As long as there are skies, my journey shall continue. A Sailor's Philosophy by Anonymous. Hmm. Intriguing. Okay. Right. So we've got another one to do. Now, this one is actually back here. So I don't know why <laughs> the other one was on my notes first. But it's not that far away. Uh, where are we? So, somewhere, oh god, combat, because always combat, uh, give us some Lombarda Burst, do it, oh, not bad, should just be able to finish the rest of these guys off, yes, nice, happy with that. Another, yeah, we're getting pretty much like a thousand gold per battle, which, uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, is really bloody nice. Okay, so we need maximum altitude for this one, pretty much anyway, and it should be around here somewhere. Now, apparently, the trouble with this one is. Yeah, so it should be around here somewhere. But the trouble with this one is it's hidden. So we just kind of have to mash the button and hope for the best. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Balloon flower. Notice how our compass wasn't actually spinning. A curious plant whose colourful fruit sways in the wind like a balloon. When the thin outer shell was popped, a sweet fragrance is released. It was often seen throughout the world in more peaceful times. But in the late, but 
of late the fruits are seldom seen. Interesting. Well, that's quite a cool discovery, that one. I'm happy. Um, now. Now we need to keep going. Our next discovery is the Lands of Ice. But we should get that automatically. Uh, okay. I think Lombarda Burst is probably the best thing to do here. Should kill everything. Almost. You can definitely see the enemies are getting stronger now. And that's okay. Right. Another cool grand in the bank. We'll be making that money back in no time at all. So I'm pretty sure we just need to go in this direction. Keep our eyes peeled, see if we see anything cool. But that should give us our 30 anyway. Okay. Yep, I think we're just... Standard rules apply here. Do most of the damage with Ica, then finish the rest off. That'll work nicely. Okay. Eh, not quite as much money that time, but still decent. Now we're back up to our Philosopher's Stone. I guess we're going to keep pushing forwards. So basically, if we do leave this too long and another pirate discovers it, uh, we can still sell it, but we just get like a humongously reduced amount. So where are the lands of ice that we're looking for? Possibly gone past them. Let's try and draw the map out properly. Might have to fast forward a little bit. Is this not the lands of ice? I would have thought that was the lands of ice, but hey, what do I know? Ah, look at this. We're now on the bottom of the map. It's a bit random, isn't it? But we can't actually uh, make any progress too far. Ah, oh dear. This is going to be unfortunate. Well, these things are nasty. Very nasty. I want to pull out the stops here. Now we got attacked. So what actually we're going to do. Let's go for some Reign of Swords. Everybody else can go for a standard attack. They're not that strong. I mean, they're certainly strong enough. Dude. They are savage. Yeah, that's going to help out. <laughs> that's going to help out quite nicely. I wonder what we're going to get for killing these. Magic? Question mark? No, oh, I don't know what that was, but it missed. An attack. Yeah, we really need to get you a better weapon, don't we? Uh, this is going to suck. Uh, it could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. I hope that I've been useful. You've been reasonably useful. They're not actually worth as much as you would think. That's surprising. Okay, let's get everybody healed up because that was painful. Uh, crystals. Wow. Bina was really circling the toilet there for a minute. Okay, so if we check out the map. Hmm. Oh, that was the lands of ice back there. So we've discovered it. We just uh, haven't discovered it, if that makes sense. 
I mean, it makes sense. Apart from the bits that don't make sense. It's possible that we need to discover it from the other side. Which is looking like the case. Which makes me wonder if we... Ah, wait, there's a sky. A jubrit over there. Ooh, look, these are new. Let's give them some of that. I'm assuming that these enemies are going to be weak to fire, considering, you know, they're living in the uh, harsh, icy environment. Unless they'd like fire. Fire might warm them up, make them feel a bit better, you know? Nope. No, they don't like fire. They don't like fire at all. They don't really give us much either. Okay, so we should be able to go through this sky drift. Maybe. No, we can't. Hmm, how intriguing. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure the place we need to go is here somewhere. But, kind of just enjoying doing a bit of exploration at the moment. Right, I'll catch up with you guys if I find something more interesting a little bit later on. Okay, so, swimming around. I say swimming around, I've actually discovered this place here. And what do we have here? You have found the giant squid nest. Lovely. We thought it was just a big rock, but when we threw the anchor, this huge eyeball opened up and these red legs came out of nowhere. We just ran for it and barely made it out with our ship in one piece. An Anon sailor. Hmm, interesting. Giant squid in space. In space, I of course mean, you know, in the air. But hey, anyway guys, I'm going to keep exploring. I'll catch you guys later on. Right, one thing we can actually do, whilst we're running around and filling in all of the blanks, also, over here, we need to be a little bit careful, because there's a giant squid, it's a hidden boss, uh, almost bumped into me. Um, we will fight him, but not yet. Then, actually not too bad, from what I can remember, the only trouble is, uh, there's a character that we need, which will allow us to get better items, that we, and we don't have her yet, so... We will come back. Anyway, there is a couple of crew members that we can indeed get from here. If I can just get my uh, notes back up here. Ah, we get the awesome music here again, though. Uh, we can get the prince, I believe. If I can remember my way around this area now, which is going to be questionable. Uh... We need to go to the tavern. The elder's house. There's quite a few people here we can get. I think there's like two or three. Uh, which is good, because the more the merrier and all that stuff. Now, if I could only remember where the tavern was, we would definitely be having a better time. No time like the present, huh? Yeah, this is a really long pole. Now, who's in here? Um, ah, you're the one who got rid of the Valguans. It's only because of you that I was saved. Uh, on the Moonstone Mountain, they made me work. It was very hard, but thanks to you, I came home alive. Here, my thanks. Please put it to good use. You received one Tropica. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Didn't even mean to do that. What exactly is a Tropica, my good man? Um, Tropica. An extremely rare gourd found in Ixitaka that increases an ally's max HP by 200. Do you know who could really use that? Fina. Because her HP is so much lower than everybody else. It really, she really needs that buff. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, thanks, dude. I actually had no idea about that. Oh, this is so cool. Permanent max 200 health. Yeah. 
Look, we're going to say no to that. Stop her getting down so often. Well, that's theory anyway. So, have the inn. Can I speak to you? A while ago, Meridia wrote a letter and put it in a bottle and tied it to a red balloon. I saw her release it into the air. I think it was a very important letter to Meridia. Well, we so happen to have that bottle. That's a very powerful ship you have. I hope one day I will board a ship. I look for comrades to help me get revenge on Valua. Do you now? I wrote a letter to Quieter and sent it to the sky. I asked Quieter to please send me a strong warrior to aid my course. Well, isn't that a happy coincidence? Could this be the letter by any chance? I picked it up in the ocean. That is the letter that I wrote to Quieter. I sent it looking for help. Quieter surely sent you to me. You must be the warriors that I'm waiting for. Well, you never know. Please, take me with you. I want to fight against Valua. I, I may not be strong, but I can dance. My dancing will lift everyone's spirits. Eh, good enough for me. Morale's very important. Hey, we got another jester. Excellent. Okay, so that's Meridia. Uh, we also have somebody else. When Meridia left, my tavern became a very lonely place. But if she's happy dancing in your ship, then it's worth it. If Meridia is happy, I'm happy. Ah, oh, bless you, dude. Trust me, she's joined the good fight. Now, we need to go to the Elder's Palace, or the Elder's Place. Because remember, I think it was the Elder's Son. Um, Taki Tika, or whatever he was called. Sounds like a good curry. Could be a bad curry, actually. You never know. Uh, oh, it's a monkey. I was like, what the hell is that? Now, if I could just remember where the mayor or the leader of this fine establishment was well, that would be better can i remember where the leader is of course i can't don't be so ridiculous you think that i would remember something as important as that bah Ugh. i'm pretty sure it's all the way down below somewhere I think now that's a big vat of something yeah we're not going to go play with a big vat of something I'm sure that just leads out into here, which I guess we could take this down. I'm sure it's on the bottom floor. Maybe. I guess we're going to find out. Ah, that looks potentially like where we need to go. Back up here. Because there was that uh, amply uh, chested lady that was on the way. Hey dude. Welcome, welcome. You are our heroes. It is an honor to have you here. Please make yourself at home. Well, thank you. Dude. Very kind of you to say such things. Alright, let's go down. This is looking like the correct way to go. Uh, uh, yeah. That is not the correct way to go. Um, ah, that's where we need to go, I think. Right, okay. We need to go up this ladder here. I mean, at least we get to enjoy the wonderful music whilst we bumble around this place. That's more like it. Such wonderful music as well. Might as well get all these things done whilst we can. Now, obviously, there's a lot of filler in some of these episodes, but that's what these games are like, I guess. This is looking like it. Good. Good. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. There we go. This is where we need to be. I remember things about stuff, and it's this ladder that we need to go up. And we need to get the sun to come along to battle with us. Glorious battle. Now 
do we need to have any prerequisites for him? You really did destroy Valua. You're very strong. Just as I thought, you were sent by Quiet, yeah, weren't you? Uh, maybe. The song is for Quieter. Ah, cool. Yeah, you, you, you praise your magical sky wizard. We're, we'll continue doing the work. Now, there he is. You have a nice ship. You have flown around here a lot. Do you know this area well? Have you seen a ship with all women sailors around here? Sometimes I see them flying nearby. They're very different from the women here. Yeah, that's a boss bounty. Even with my eyes, I cannot always see where they go. I'm very curious about them. Women only? Maybe you're talking about the village of the Ixenes. Yes, yes, that must be it. There really is a village of only women. I've been searching for it for many years. Thank you. I bet you have. You're the best sailor I know. Take me with you on your ship. I want to travel with you. Really? You'll join the crew of my ship? That's right. I'll join your crew. I've been looking for someone who could make good use of my incredible eyes. We have our lookout. With my eyes, I can see the enemy from far away. Other things, too, as clear as day. This will be useful to you. Yes. Yes, it will. So we now have our lookout, which is fantastic. Uh, oh, we're almost out of time. Well, I might wrap this episode up here, actually, guys. Because basically on half an hour now. And we've accomplished, I think, according to most of my notes, we've done pretty much all of the side stuff that we actually can do up until this point. Uh, that is the large chested lady. Let's see if the king's back. I'm sure this was the king's hut. It was. You saved the village. Thank you. Stay a while here and get a good rest. Um, yeah. Cool. Thanks. Yes, don't mind if I do. You seem refreshed. Come anytime you need a rest. Thank you. My deepest gratitude. Thanks to you, the people have safely returned to their homes. You people are not quiet, but I think it was Quire who sent you. Like all those who Quire sends, you are welcome in this village. The people of the forest will help you. Thank you. In fact, you already have helped me quite a bit. We now have a lookout. Now, I believe he does actually increase the range in which you can spot enemies and things. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. Either that or he has some other passive combat ability for your ship. I do have all of that written down somewhere, but I have <laughs> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages of guide for this game. Uh, it's just, you know, it's there's so much to take in. This game has so many different uh, small details. So it's just, it's impossible to keep track of everything. Anyway, let's go. Unless you've pr played this game 658,000 times over, which some of you probably have. Right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching, as always. When we come back, well, I think it's time to push the plot on because I think we've done everything we can do up until this point. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.